Hello YouTube model community, Phil here at Horton's Hot Rod Shop. Take two. Today I'm going to do a, a what's in the box on the kit I bought. So I'm going to take this out of the way. I'm going to start setting some parts up here. Okay, so I got the entire body. Uh, try to get in a little closer so I can see this stuff better. The entire body looks in really good shape. But the only thing I don't see is a firewall. But I don't even know if it had one. Uh, and I'm going to need to see if I can't get it apart the rest of the way. Got to be really careful doing it though because the headliner's in it. And I want to get that headliner out so I can paint the car. I have an extra headliner. In fact, I have two. I have one I've had for years. Once I figured out what it was, I wasn't going to let it go. Got a complete engine for it. Ejecting <clears throat> uh, stacks are all on it. Belts are all on it. Headers are all on it. So that's a that's a major part. Little frame is all there. Uh, <clears throat> the other headlights there I have that I have the dashboard for it I have a front axle that looks like it has been warped a little bit but the wheels are turned I think I'm just going to leave it I think somebody did that on purpose to be honest with you I think I might just leave it and put the tires on to where they look like they're turned. Uh, <clears throat> rear axle. Now that just sets in the... To complete the look. Just sits in there like that. Because that's all you're going to see of it anyway. Underneath. That's about all you're going to see of it. So. That's there. Uh, I have a set of these fend bike drums. I have the steering column. It's hard to get anything to focus on this stuff today. Steering column, floor pan, shifter. Gas pedal, even brake pedal, are all there. Uh, seats I have both seats, correct seats for it. I have the little wind up key for it that was on the back of it. Now, let's see here if I can get these to focus in on my hands. I can't get my hand in the right spot. Okay. That is all four pieces of the front wheels. The outer and both inners. So I have all them. I have the two front tires in the box. I have the two rear tires, rims, uh, inserts, slicks. Also I have the, wheel, the other wheel backer. And unfortunately, the base that goes with it and the lady are not there. I do have a little little piece I got to fix on the trophy, but the big trophy was there. Uh, got to do a little cleanup to get that to go together here. But I've had this base before in kits and didn't know what it ever went to. But I've never had all of it. Not even near to being that close. So. Looks like maybe it goes on a certain way on that base. Maybe that's why it's not going together. Let's see if I can get it to go in there anyway. It's 
It's going to be a trip to get in there, that's for sure. But I have the giant trophy that goes with it. All the way up to the piece at the top. So that's a very cool piece. I'm very, very happy to have this. Uh, it's one of them cars that's iconic in many ways. In the model in the modeling community, it's kind of super rare. The guys that have them are lucky to have them. The guys that have the ones that are unbuilt and unmolested, still in the boxes, are sitting on gold mines. Until recently when these guys are starting to repop them in resin. Which I really don't have a problem with, but in the same token, it's kind of a kick in the shorts to some of the guys that have hunted for them for years. But hopefully it'll get some more people. And then on top of all that, in the box there was two more of the slicks. Uh, a third slick that I'm not sure if it's the right ones for this style kit. An extra front tire. A couple of the extra wheel backers. A couple of drum, fin drums. An axle spindle that I think goes to like a boot hill or something. A spindle, a steel axle, the entire top half of one of them motors, intakes, fuel injection, belts, timing chain cover, both heads, steering column and steering wheel. There's a 55 Chevy header that don't go to nothing in there. So a lot of these parts will be going back in the box, the stuff that I know goes to an uncertainty. So, has the an extra distributor cap even, uh, which I probably won't be doing much with. My main goal was to get one of these. I know the resin. There's a resin body out there, resin 3D printed body out there. Just the body. The guys wanting 65 bucks for it. When I was at the point, I was about ready to buy one. Start from scratch when I found this one. Uh, to date, this is still not the most expensive model I've ever bought. That honor still goes to my, what used to be my holy grail. Or really close to the top of the list for me was my American Graffiti Milner's Dragster kit. So that one still holds its honor. Probably being my most expensive kit I've ever bought. Uh, I bought one eight scale models cheaper than I bought that kit. And I have one eight scale Corvettes. 65 out. I have one of them in there that I just bought recently. I have a 1.8 scale big tub Ravel kit. I have that. I also have a 1.8 scale big red rod, a yellow canary, a tall T by Lindbergh. Uh, I have a a big T kit that I gotta do yet someday. <clears throat> Been thinking maybe one of these builds, group builds here. Maybe I'll put one on someday here and do a something different. But maybe not. You know, them big scale models would take way too long to build, but I think it'd be a cool group build. 
do a large scale group build. Uh, still working on my small scale group build. Alright guys, I gotta go. My camera's about to shut off anyway. Uh, to all my subscribers, thank you. For all the likes. Comments. I enjoy reading them all. You guys have a good one. I'm out.